Hey, so what's going on right now? I'm glad you guys could join in and uh, tune in and see what I'm up to. So right now, I'm basically just uh, working on this portrait of uh, Beyonce. Now, it's been a long time since I worked on a musical artist. I'll say probably the last time I draw a musical artist was probably maybe eight months ago. Melly was the last uh, musical artist that I drew. So as you can see right now, I'm constantly looking back and forth in the camera. I realize it's best to always get so many different views on your artwork, like taking a picture and looking at it uh, recording yourself in a selfie uh, position and you're looking at it, you can notice so many things. So that's why I'm always constantly looking back just to see uh, the difference and certain things I could tweak up here and there. One thing too, what I really, really love about messing with this white and black charcoal is like, um, I wish I would have done this like years ago because some of my artworks, um, I always imagine it to always come out the way this one came out. You feel me? The reason why, because it's like the highlights. I love, love, like right now, as you can see, I'm always starting off uh, doing the highlights. I always love doing the eyes and the teeth. It's always the eyes, the teeth, and the, and the nose. So right now, I'm just going off with the, the soft charcoal. You could kind of say it's like you could kind of say it is like the light charcoal, you know. So for this one right here, I was always trying to make sure that um, I was going to do something different. So as the time while I'm doing this right here, I'm thinking to myself, how am I going to do the background? What am I going to do for the background? What I'm going to add to it? Because usually when I'm always starting off with certain projects, I always start off with the background first. Um, but it always depends for this one right here. I know I wasn't going to go too crazy for the background. So I was like, let me just start off with, um, you know, the portrait itself first. So as you can see right here, like, this is what I love about going back and forth with the light and the dark, because you're going with the highlights and you're going with the shadows. So I always, always, always start off with the highlights with the white charcoal pencil, of course. And then once I feel comfortable, then I go ahead with um, the soft charcoal pencil and I'm just hitting up the shadow points. Once you just hit that, you automatically know where everything else is and then everything else just come out so smoothly. Like right now, as you can see, um, you can just see how it's coming out right now. So I had to lay this down. As I'm using the charcoal powder, it's always best for me just to lay it down. Of course, I'm not going to have it stand up because it's just going to be falling down. But just having it laid down, um, just smoothing it out. And I'm using a different brush. I'm using that round brush. I don't know what, what is it called, but I call it the round brush. But as you can see, I'm going back and forth with the uh, um, flat top, the, the flattened brush and the round brush. I guess that's what it's called. But um, if you know the name of it, just uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what it's really called. But I really love, um, this is my favorite part right here. Just messing around with the charcoal. Now, when I was messing around with the charcoal powder, I didn't really use that much. As you can see, I'm going super, super, super light. Usually, I always go like ham crazy. But for this one, I just went super, super light each time as I created a layer going back and forth. Now, as I was like constantly going back and forth, um, I'm going back and forth with the highlight and the shadow. So every single time I went darker with the shadow, I went back with the highlights and tightened it up. Basically, you know, touched it up. Uh, this is how it gets more and more and more so realistic and depth with the tone. Um, you know, as you're doing details with the person's forehead and the cheekbone, and even if they got dimples, uh, that's where it usually comes in in that part when you're going back and forth. You don't want to go too much, but you just want to just go a little bit, just a little by little each time. 
So um, I should have had some Beyonce music playing when I was doing this, but I really wasn't even like listening to her, which was crazy. Cause like the whole entire time in my head, I'm always thinking about brown skinned, um, brown skinned girl, a song that she did. But as you can see right here, I'm going back and forth, listening to Dave East at that album drop, which is crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I had a, <laughs> yo, I liked it every single song in there. Yeah, I mean, so for this one right here, I was still, still having fun. As you can see, what which was so crazy, on this project right here, I was mainly using like the makeup sponge, like, which is so crazy. But then again, I didn't want to go too dark, dark, dark. I still wanted to keep this light in a sense, because I felt like once you go way too dark, there's no way of coming back regardless. But I felt like there was no need for me to go way too dark. And then as you can see right here, looking at the reference that I had, it wasn't even really like a dark reference picture. It was more like a light reference picture. So I think that's what made me, you know, just be very careful and cautious and go extra light each time in a sense but at the main the main tool i was really using on this one was just the blending stomp and the makeup sponge which is like crazy crazy so right now i'm almost done with this like sometimes i feel like when i'm not too sure when i'm done i'm always taking a picture and i'm comparing it to the reference and just to see my mistakes i'm constantly constantly was doing that like the whole entire last four hours of this but right now, this is what I got so far. I hope you guys um, love this video. And if you have any other video or any other person you would love for me to make and you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Hope you guys are having a blessed, wonderful day. Much love. One.